so um yeah we can say this uh we can say these carbon atoms are the same environment because they are the same distance from this carbon atom so we can mark this as environment 3 and we can say that this carbon atom is at a completely different distance it's further for the farthest from this carbon atom and we can uh, mark this as another environment so the these uh, in fact, I should have marked all of these together, the hydrogens, because we are looking at proton NMR. So these are the same environment. Okay, so this is one environment. These are the same environment. These are the same environment. And this one is this. This one is another environment. So what we get here is four different peaks. Now, one peak will be one peak will be a singlet due to the OH group. The other peak will be a, a doublet a, a doublet in this case because we can see that it has a neighbor of uh, the neighboring carbon atom has one H atom and uh, it's a different chemical environment so we can say that it ha it will have a doublet so this chemical environment will have a doublet a doublet and it will be integrated uh, to two this is integrated to one so it will be integrated to two because two hydrogen atoms this environment will have a triplet because one from here neighboring and one from here so we will have one like this so we will have one like this and uh, this will also be integrated to two so actually these two should be the same height because these two these two peaks are for the same number of protons two protons two protons and this is for the OH this is one proton and this will be integrated to one only again because uh, we have a single proton attached here and it will also have a doublet because uh, we have the neighboring carbon the neighboring carbon atom has one hydrogen atom we don't consider both of these because these are one group so the neighboring has one hydrogen so we only consider one so we will take this as a doublet now i want you to know that this group has a different chemical shift after all you know that but since but 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 since these are still these hydrogens are still belonging to benzene this hydrogen this hydrogen this hydrogen and this hydrogen and this hydrogen all five of them are belonging to benzene so even though they will have different peaks these peaks will be very close together so what you will see is a multiplet so these spectra don't really come in the paper because they're really complex they just want you to know that uh, they just want you to know how to identify the number of peaks and here we have identified that there will be four peaks again i repeat one for this two three and four so that's how we use symmetry okay so moving on yes so this is another benzene derivative it's a molecule made from benzene it's actually trinitrotoluene tnt you might have heard it heard about tnt explosives it's actually this molecule that is used in those explosives uh, these are the nitro groups um, yeah these are the nitro groups no2 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 and uh, this is the toluene group so basically uh, methyl benzene is also known as toluene so this is trinitrotoluene used in explosives. Now when we now let's do the proton NMR spectrum for this really quickly. Let's first see the symmetry. So I can divide it like this, and when I fold it, I can I get symmetry because um, the right side completely overlaps with the left side. So I get symmetry over here, and uh, let's start counting the number of proton environments. So this will be one proton environment. And actually, I only see yeah, I only see three carbon atoms with hydrogen atoms over here. So one is this, and uh, another carbon atom having a hydrogen atom is this, and another one having a hydrogen atom is this. But we will take this as one. Uh, these two, no, not this one. Uh, these two we'll take as one because if you see, both are at the same distance from this carbon atom and same distance from these two these are symmetric and same distance from this group symmetric so <coughs> sorry so what we will get here is we will get two peaks one will be due to this ch3 group and one will be due to th these two 
So we'll get a singlet over here integrated to three because 